You can construct and analyze geometric objects using the TI Inspire and TI Inspire CAS apps on the iPad. Here in the home screen, let's start a new TI Inspire document by tapping the plus icon in the upper left corner and adding Geometry. The Geometry workspace will be displayed. Let's first construct a shape by tapping the wrench icon to open the Tools menu and then choose Shapes. Now choose your shape. I'll create a circle by choosing Circle. You'll see the tool that's selected in the upper right corner just above the geometry page, which in this case is the Circle tool. To draw the circle, first tap where you would like the center of the circle to be. Then tap to define the radius. To resize the circle, touch and hold any point on the circumference until you create the appropriate size of the circle. You can move the circle by touching and dragging the center point. Now let's construct an equilateral triangle. Tap the wrench icon again to open the tools menu and notice that shapes is still open here. I know you might be tempted to create a triangle by selecting triangle, but there's an easier way to create a regular triangle. Choose regular polygon. Tap once in the workspace to define the center of the triangle. Now tap again to set your first point. We've just created a regular polygon with 16 sides, which is 13 too many. To get rid of the others, touch and hold one of those 16 points and drag clockwise around the shape to reduce the number of sides down to 3, then let go. There's my equilateral triangle. Let's bisect one of the 60 degree angles here by going up to the wrench icon and then selecting the back button to move back to the tools menu and out of the shapes menu. Now choose construction, angle bisector. I'll bisect the top angle by tapping the points in order starting with the lower left, then tapping the top, and then the lower right. As soon as I tap my last point I'll see the bisector appear. You can change the attributes of any geometric object by touching and holding an edge to select it, and then tapping the Attributes icon which looks like three sliders just to the right of the wrench. In this case I can see the attributes of my triangle so I can change the line color, weight, and style as well as choose to fill the triangle with a color. Once you have those options set, tap an empty area of the workspace to close the Attributes panel and tap an empty area again to deselect the object.